This is how you can make an advanced error handling system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, errors are something that pretty much all bot is going to get, but you can make it so your bot is not going to crash by using an error handling system. So what you can do with this is basically anytime you get an error that would typically crash your bot, it's going to console log the error, but it's not actually going to crash your bot, so that even if you have a bug, your bot is not just going to randomly go offline. So before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say if you'd like to get the source code from any video on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or a subscription over on discord if you get the super god or custom bot tier you will get access to that source code and over on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will also get access to that source code and of course on both platforms if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this is interesting to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so to go ahead and do this we can just go over into our index.js file and we can come right under the command folders right here in the slash command package. Now, if you're not using the slash command package, you can put this anywhere in your index, I believe. Just make sure you are putting it in your main file. Otherwise, this will not work. So we can start by doing const process equals, and then we're going to get require. And we can get node, and then we're going to do process. And then we can do process dot on. And in here, we're going to do unhandled rejection. Let me do comma, and we're just going to go ahead and get our reason and our promise. And then we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function. And here, we're going to do console.log, and we're going to go ahead and say unhandled rejection at, and then we can go ahead ahead and pass in our promise we can do a string and we're going to get our reason and then we can do comma and we're going to go and pass in our reason so believe it or not that's actually all you have to do for the code this is very very simple uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and create some errors within some commands so we can actually test this out so we can go over to community and we're just going to go ahead and create error test.js as you can see here when turning on my bot it is going to give me an error that says unhandled rejection promise and it's going to give me this type error saying undefined reading of name which is going to be what happens when i have an empty file file and it's going to give me the reason which is technically the same as well so it's going to give me the promise and it's also going to give me that reason but as you can see here it's actually going to turn on my bot so if we go over onto discord you're going to notice that the tutorial bot is actually online and it is working even though we had an error creating the command so we can go ahead and actually test this out by making it the command so we can do module.exports equals and we can do data do new slash command filter and we can say name and we'll just give it a bunch of syntax errors and all this stuff and we can try to run this as well. So you're going to notice here that even with syntax errors, now keep in mind if you're trying to run any program with syntax errors, it's not actually going to work if you have syntax errors, but with a syntax error, as you can see here, it's going to actually work. So it's going to give me the promise and it's going to give me the reason and it's going to turn on and still work as it should. So basically what that means is it doesn't matter what bugs your bot has. It doesn't matter what's wrong with your bot. You could have like the entire file read with syntax errors and your bot would actually still turn online and work as it should aside from that command, obviously. Now I have been using this for about a day with server manager, as you can see, and this bot has a ton of bugs. Like pretty much every command is filled with bugs and it's been on for over 24 hours, which is very, very good for this bot. So that's how you can code an advanced error handling system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And by the way, credit to Jason for this actual code. This is all him and he sent it to me and it's very effective. So credit to him. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.